What up, y'all? Mrs. U Nation, aka Savage Armor Jim Tarafa, coming at you with another analysis video. Today, we're going to be talking about Mega Colony, my most favorite clan, and we're basically going to be talking about all the stuff that I feel like Mega Colony needs in order to become a better clan. I was supposed to come out with this last month, but I kind of forgot. Well, not really forgot. I was just too busy with a bunch of other stuff where I might do a video on it one day and everything else. But I do have a few projects coming at you for it. I'm not going to explain all of them in this video, but I'll explain all the main county related ones. So the first one is every Friday I'm going to be reviewing any Mega County units that's been, you know, um, released within the week. It's a lot better to do it all in one video instead of doing it like once, you know, the next day after it's been released. Because I do kind of feel like that I will get sidetracked for a lot of other stuff. So outside of that, man, um, we do have like another video, another analysis video. It's going to be basically all of the units that I do believe might come into the, uh, they might get redesigned into this particular um, package. So not package, booster. Why did I say package? It's going to get released in the booster, so that's another thing. Um, outside of that, um, well, I'm going to just start the video, to be honest. We'll just start everything that was supposed to be doing. So, with all that being said, um, there is two particular things, in my honest opinion, that I feel like Mega Colony needs in order to become a better clan. Um, I definitely do think that these need to be addressed and I do believe that there is minimum stuff that needs to be done in order for Mekon to become, you know, way better. Now, here's the reason why I say two particular things. This is because we have some pretty decent grade threes. We got um, Spark Hercules, Stag Beetle, we've got Kaleo, um, Sakoma Tooth, Ant Lion. So we got some pretty decent great we got some pretty decent grade threes. I would even say ornamental is also a decent grade three as well. And a grade one like grade one and grade two lineup, it's it's average. It's not really the best. But I do believe that one of the biggest um advantages we have over a lot of clans is we have multiple grade three searchers. We got Hornet, we have Mantis, and I do believe that little Dorcas is going to become the, uh, the grade 3 searcher that we're getting for this particular clan is going to be like a grade 3 searcher and it's going to have some type of effect. Probably whatever the new Ghidorah does. Um, hopefully, you know, the new Ghidorah is astonishingly well. Like, I'm really hoping that it's going to be good. But anyway, um, outside of that, we have some pretty average units. Like, they're not the best, they're not the worst. And it's basically whatever we have is what, what we got, to be honest. And there's no synergy with them. It's all like, okay, there's like a few synergy with a few cards here and there. But there's not enough synergy to where it makes a huge difference. Um, because let's be real, as it stands, this clan doesn't start to really kill your opponent off until their second grade three turn which let's be real that's bad at that at this particular moment because we having clans that are killing people off before they even get to grade three so grade three grade three the first grade three turn is very essential is, is very crucial and you know there's no, is, you, there's hardly going to be a time where you're going to actually like stall the match as long as you want to that that doesn't really exist anymore in standard i kind of wish it did because i think the one thing that i liked about standard compared to premium was that the format was a lot slower which means you got to go through most of the cards in your deck and all that but now it's gotten pretty fast it's gotten fast to the point where you know if you don't have any kill turn very early in the game then you kind of not really in, going to be useful in the competitive scene at all and you know i feel like that just a few cards here and there would just 
make it work. So, um, what is these two particular things that I feel like Mega County definitely needs? It's synergy and power. Or I should say numbers. I think numbers sounds a lot better. But anyway, they need power, they need numbers, and they definitely need synergy. And before, even if we have the synergy, you still have the problems that the numbers don't really hit hard. Now, here's what I mean by this. Um, I will feel like, in my most, in my honest opinion, our best unit, as far as killing your opponent off, you know, getting to the six damage as fast as possible, is Antlion. The problem with Antlion is that you don't get them high enough in a short amount of time. And what I mean by that is, of course, like I said, we're a grade three. We, we kill on our second grade three turn and everything else like that. But even then, you don't really hit that heavy. Like, on his, on his own, he's a 20k with um feeling with phantom black you know he's like 33 yeah he's 33 with phantom black and then you know with both of them and um spark hercules they're like 43 and with um spark hercules and ornamental 50 is what is it 53 or 63 one of the two and this is all before triggers now of course you also got to remember that the cost is very heavy antlion allows you to um in order to use its effect you have to discard two cards in soul blast of grade three while and um, phantom black you just have to discard a card so in total that soul blast in a grade three and discarding three cards only to get cucked out by the multiple grade zeros in your opponent's hand because they can't block with you know they can't block with sentinels they can't block with normal units and all that so all they're left is with triggers and by the time you get to your second grade three turn you're not going to put enough advantage i mean you're not going to put enough pressure on your opponent for them to have less grade th grade zeros in their hand in order to like block everything now in my honest opinion once every clan gets their sentinel crits i do believe that it might get like a little bit easier because with the sentinel crits it still counts as a sentinel so they can't necessarily use it so when you put that into their um when you put all of that into consideration the great zeros in their hand might just be nothing but sentinel crits and they might be off by like a couple of like power and whatnot but until every clan gets that this wouldn't make too much of a difference in general but outside of that you got to remember of how much setup you have to do in order to do this combo you gotta get you gotta you know draw into um draw or search into you know um antlion there's no way to search out for phantom black so you gotta search out for phantom black um, you gotta have both of them in hand. You gotta have both of them on the field. You gotta have a great three in the soul um, just set up for Antlion. If you're playing Gun and Kaleo, you have to have two great threes into the soul. And yes, it is possible to have two great threes in the soul on your um, second great three turn, but then you have to include pieces like Butterfly Officer and Megalar Lancer and it's like there's so many sensitive pieces that you have to do just one particular combo only for it to just get cucked out by your opponent that's not fun and i feel like that antlion could be become a little bit better and i do feel like that maybe there is a couple of like so solutions that you could do in order to make them better too but i feel like overall as a clan, Mega Colony doesn't really hit that heavy. Not even in premium format. It's all like in when I when I refer to power and everything else, I wanna say power before triggers. Because I feel like that if you have to depend on triggers in order to have very high attack power, then 
it kind of makes everything pointless because when you don't hit the triggers, then what are you going to do? You're just there sitting there with just weak columns and that necessarily shouldn't be a thing. So when you put into consideration that maybe there needs to be a few units here and there that increases power and stuff like that, I do believe that it will become, that may kind of become a way better clan at the end of the day. But now I'm just not with power, but also with synergy as well. Um, there is one particular card that I do feel like that will fix everything almost. It, it won't fix everything completely, but I do believe that it will excel the clan a lot. And that is something that allows you to put cards from your hand into the soul on your grade two and grade one turn. And the reason why I feel like this is very important because let's be real, you're running multiple grade threes um, in, the de in the deck. You're running multiple grade three searchers in the, clan in the deck in general, which means you're going to be at one point waterlogged with nothing but grade threes in hand. Sometimes it hurts when you're going against like super heavy rush clans like aqua force and stuff like that because they're going to hit you with all these attacks and you can't really defend and all you got to do is take the attack and hope that you get damage trick that you get damage triggers and whatnot and even then sometimes the damage triggers don't even work at the end of the day but it sucks that you will have like maybe a 12 card hand and like eight of those are grade threes like that really hurts from time to time, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but at the same time, I feel like that because you get to search for a lot of grade threes, because you're running a lot of grade three units, um, having the ability to put the grade threes into the soul very early on makes it so that when you get to your first grade three turn, you can use Gunning Kaleo's second ability, which allows you to um, guard restrict. You can use Antlion's ability, which allows you to guard restrict and hit your opponent with an extra critical and whatnot. You can finally have Ornamental have the ability to use both of her effects very early on, on your first grade 3 turn, which is something that will be very beneficial. Um, in all I gotta say is maybe like 2, 3, maybe even 4 cards that can do you know this type of ability i guarantee you make economy become 10 times faster with that um i know it's, it's a possibility that it, that might not happen but at the same time i do believe that if you know um it, it's not just antline either you know it's not just gunning kaleo either or anything else like that maybe it doesn't even have to be just strictly grade threes maybe it could just be any unit that way you can set up for more turns with like stack beetle like let's say you have like water gang in hand and you know you want to put something from your hand into the soul you got water cane that way when you uh when you call stack beetle you know water gang comes out at rest some type of ability to restand and all of a sudden you know you get water game back into the soul and you draw two cards with a counter blast of one which is something that i believe would benefit the clan a lot um but um you also got to remember that this clan is kind of soul blast heavy too so that definitely works with that in the long run at the end of the day Maybe even if you were to do like a one for one, like let's say you soul blast one that you can put one into the soul, like even that will work out from time to time. But um, outside of that, I do feel like that there are a few other type of cards that main Connie definitely needs in order to become a little bit better. And I feel like that Stag Beetle, not Stag Beetle, Spark Hercules is should be like a major front to that. Here's the reason why. Um, Spark Hercules allows you to minus 5k to all of your opponent's units and plus 5k to all of your units. That's pretty good, except for two things. One, there isn't a card 
in Mega Colony in both the premium format and standard format that minuses your opponent's units by a, a certain amount of sum. And you also got to remember standard format wise, they're outside of Spark Hercules, Hell Demise is the only other card that can restand units. And the reason why I bring this up is because, let's be real, we have a lot of units that either rest themselves or call other units that rest or even force rest other units altogether. Um, you got Butterfly Officer, she force rests herself in order to use her ability. Machining Ladybug force rests herself to use her ability as well. Um, Stack Beetle, call two units from the soul at rest. Um, Machining Ornamental, um, re force rests all rear guards on the field. The pro on when it's on place. And it's mandatory, it's not, um... It's not by choice, it's, it's straight up mandatory, so you have no choice but to. So, when you have all that to consideration, you have all of these units that can rest themselves, but you do not have enough units that can restand other units. Because if you don't have a lot of units that restand other units, and you're just dependent on one particular thing, for one, it kind of makes some of the other cards a little less valuable. Um, it kind of makes Stag Beetle a little less valuable because if you place Stag Beetle on Vanguard Circle, you have a column and you, do, you just have a dead column. And that necessarily shouldn't be a thing at the end of the day um, because dead columns means that you won't put any pressure on your opponent. And not putting your pressure on your opponent means that they get to, get to get to keep their hand, which means they get to keep all of their pieces, which also mean that when you try to kill them with Antlion, Antlion is not going to kill them off at all. They're just going to like, oh yeah, you have that big attack, three cards, you basically lose because you lost three cards in your hand and you have like maybe like what two cards left in hand and stuff like that there's no way you're gonna survive an onslaught of like five attacks with three with two cards in hand no fucking way possible so when you put all that to consider in consideration um we definitely need no dead columns we also need more units that can restand other ones and i know some people are gonna say a couple of things we did get a promo recently, I think it was like maybe last week or the week before last, where when you place it on the Vanguard Circle, I'm not, not on the Vanguard Circle, when you place it on the Rear Guard Circle, you choose one of your units and restand it, which is cool, but the problem is, it only works when, you, when it comes from hand. Now, if it was like a little thing, interaction you can do with Stag Beetle, where that particular promo's in the soul, you call it out of the soul, and you know, you could change his ability to restand one of the units, then that will be 10 times better. I would definitely love that. A lot of people will definitely love that and everything else, but it, it just doesn't happen. But then you also have the order card that's coming out. I don't know the name of it at the moment, so I'm just gonna put it on the screen here. Um, this order card is gonna come out in the upcoming set, which is the silver set, AKA the one where dumbass, uh, the cross and the messiah is coming out where basically um you counter blast one soul blast one choose one of the units restand it you get the draw card which is actually good but here's the problem it's an order card and the problem with order cards at the particular moment is let's be real whenever you search for a grade three there's just going to be times where you're going to miss it and if this is the only card, the only grade three in your hand, um, by the time you get to your grade three turn, you can't really G assist because you still have a grade three in hand, which technically means they will technically count it. So when you put all that into consideration, um, it's a decent card, but it's not good enough to be like a valuable replacement. So, when you put all that into consideration, you hardly have any cards that can 
restand other units, which means you'll have a lot of dead columns, which means that everything becomes very peace reliant. And to be honest, if I'm going to become very peace reliant, I might as well play something like Genesis, where you know you can restand Valkyrian and whatnot and get two Valkyrian attacks along with a very strong Vanguard attack. And which could technically end games if you're at the grade three and your opponent's at the grade two. With all that being said, um, there is the other ability that I did mention with Spark Hercules when it came to the minus 5k. I do feel like that there should be a couple of more units that does that. And I was trying to figure out what would make it to where um, that particular effect would be worth using. And I was like, okay, there's a unit that we do have called Water Water Gain that I did mention earlier. You counterblast one and you put him into the soul and draw two cards if he was restood. It doesn't matter how he was restood, but if he was restood, then now he would definitely get, you know, his ability. That gave me the idea of what if we actually had cards that activated abilities when they restood. So we have cards that can restand other units and other cards that can uh, activate abilities when they get restood. I feel like with both of these mashed together, it would not only revive um, Spark Hercules and make them actually a lot better, but it would definitely bring a lot of decent synergy when it comes to the Mega Colony and as a as a whole. You know, it'll, it'll give synergy to the clan as a whole, which is definitely something we will want. Outside of that, um, I want to say we just need a little bit more stuff for Gun and Kaleo, in my honest opinion. And I do believe that i mean and the reason why i say that is because the mill mechanic isn't really shit like let's be real on that the mill mechanic is not really that good and the mill mechanic only mills like at least a minimum of two to three cards per turn and when bushy rose said that they're going to give me connie the mill mechanic i was expecting to deck people out but instead, he just gave this thing that is semi decks people out, and it just makes uh, it just makes the match last a little bit longer, and it just annoys the fuck out of the opponent. Which I don't mind annoying the fuck out of my opponent, but I also want to kill my opponent all at the same time. So I do feel like that there needs to be a lot more pressure when it comes to the mill mechanic in general. So. With all that being said, I talked long enough. Um, to recap, Mega Colony needs a way to hit with heavy power. They need to hit numbers. Um, they need something. They need more units that can restand, more units that can have the ability when they restand, and they need stuff to put um, stuff from hand into the soul early on in the game before you get to your grade three with all of that put in mind it may not be a tier one clan but it will be playable which is something that i do believe that every single mega county player at this particular point is wanting we may not get tier one and that's okay but if we make it to where it's playable and to make it where it's still somewhat dangerous to go against when it comes to a lot of people then that would definitely make all of the support worth more than while with that being said i am done my name is mrs new nation aka south john and june giraffa come tune into my channel tomorrow when i talk about the units that i do believe might get a redesign um i am going to go into that so yeah look forward to it uh, outside of all this, I want to just make a quick note. As much as I'm excited for this support, I am kind of sort of spectacle for it at the same time. This is because I've seen a lot of red flags, which basically concerns of the clans that are coming in the set, which is Tachi, Spikes, and Shadow Paladins. 
Um, we've been getting Spikes and Tachis in the same set with this clan for like the last three years. And then you have Shadow Paladins, which let's be real, Shadows is everybody's most favorite clan. And basically, when you put all that to consideration, um, Shadow Paladins is of course going to get like the best support. And in order to do that, one of the three clans is going to get shafted. And I would not be surprised with Mega Colony. And then, on the other hand, you also have that shitty ass stride that came out in Premium Collection 2020. You also have that. Um, I'm not really going to go on around that because I did like two videos on that. But with all that being said, I'm done. Mom, I'm signing out.